The, uh, we are now moving to the uh, second part where we have three papers. The first one uh, will be uh, Zhu Ling from uh, Khalifa University. Please uh, welcome Zhu. A very good afternoon to everyone. So today I would like to share with you a study that has been conducted in Khalifa University. So we imp implemented computer game-based learning in a general chemistry for engineering course. There is a limitation of effectiveness of traditional teaching methods in many countries, particularly in science. Well, traditional teaching method here is basically referred to a verbal presentation with slide and normally is based on memorization. So the in, in effectiveness of traditional teaching method might be responsible for misconception in chemistry. Misconception in chemistry is a common problem in university and schools. Well, the, no, the chemistry knowledge for the student is incomplete, incoherent, inconsistent. Many students just memorize the chemistry concept without understanding. Besides, students' negative attitude in learning chemistry. So they are lack of motivation. They are not really can focus in learning chemistry. And finally, this affects their chemistry achievement. There are many ways to assist teaching and learning in science. One of the famous and common well, a common way is uh, interactive learning. So there are many examples of interactive learning. For example, game-based learning. Okay, game-based learning and e-learning, web-based learning, cooperative learning, and then we have a studio or laboratory-based learning. Educational computer game-based learning has been introduced to support teaching and learning in science. There are many advantages of computer game-based learning. For example, game in, introduce the fun element inside the lesson. So many literal reviews had found that game-based learning improves student motivation and also their cognitive growth among the students. Even though many people in favor of educational computer game-based learning, there are, there are lack of data of this performance of this method and some methodological flows. For example, lack of control group compared to the treatment group, uh, lack of studies, especially in long-term learning effect. So in our study, we introduced two experimental designs to solve this problem. And we investigate our study throughout the semester. So our main objective is we would like to investigate the effect of computer geography, like educational science game on student chemistry achievement and student attitude in general chemistry for engineering major at Khalifa University. We adopted COP experimental learning theory as uh, to explain the science learning cycle and to explain it to know its effect on chemistry achievement and chemistry, uh, and the student learning attitude. COP experimental learning uh, theory is based on four learning cycle. The first one, concrete experiment experiences experience, oh sorry, reflective observation, the second one, the third one, abstract conceptualization, and finally is uh, active experimentation. So our students with different computer experience, uh, different pyroscience knowledge, different, uh, different English language as an input, enter the uh, class and start the learning cycle. So they first they have a traditional a lecture section and followed by a science game section as a part of the teaching and learning process. So while the students play the game, so they will reflect on the related topic 
on the lecture and try to answer the question. They will conceptualize and develop science concept. And next, they were actively involved in all other questions and also other class activity to enhance their knowledge before moving to next uh, lecture session or game session to continue their learning process. So we apply the two experimental design in our study. So in each class, we divide our students randomly into treatment and control group. So all the students will have a pretest at the beginning of the semester. So which consists of a demographic survey to identify their age, uh, their English background, their computer uh, language and uh, knowledge and so on. And also they, they will have a chemistry achievement test. We introduce general engineering chemistry college readiness test which consists of five categories. And also the student will need to answer a questionnaire, the student attitude questionnaire. We want to know their attitude at the beginning of the semester. After the pretest, so the control group, so we'll have a traditional teaching by the instructor and have a computer game replacing the problem solving exercises. And for the control group, oh, that's for the treatment group, for the control group, so they have a traditional teaching by the instructor but the problem solving exercise will be conducted on paper. So at the end of the semester, so all the students will have a post test. So the same chemistry achievement test, same student attitude questionnaire uh, will be addressed to the student. And there are also an interview section for all the instructors and the selected student. So here are some features of our games. So the first, all the treatment students, they, they will get a USB key. So they will insert their USB key to their laptop and, all, and start the program. So first of all, so they will ask to, the program will ask them to, for their detail information, like their name, their ID. So they will fill and then click con confirm, confirm. Then after that, there is a screen about the game rule and information to tell the student about how to gain the point, how to, uh, uh, there is what button inside, everything. So when they are ready, so they will click start. So after they click start, so there is a question board, okay, consists of nine questions. So this nine question is uh, divided into three categories. So easy, medium, and hard. Uh, so different categories have a different points. So 100, 200, and 300 points. So students can choose any question they like, okay? But the maximum of the question they can choose is only up to five. They, they just click to, uh, uh, for the question, and then the question will be shown to them and they have four choices and they have a pass button, they have a help button and also a timer to, to tell them uh, how much time left. So if they answer the question right, so they will gain points. For example, if they click uh, the medium question 200 points, so they will gain 200 points. So at the same time, if they didn't get the question right, so they will lose points. For example, the 300 points, so they didn't get it right, so they will lose 300 uh, as well. So they will do the question, or answer all the questions. So when they are finished with five questions, so the program will automatically stop. Okay, so the question board will disappear. So, and this, or another way is when the time goes to zero. So this already tell the student is finished, the game. We would like to show you some of the results of the pilot study for our chemistry achievement test. So this is the 36 question that we that inside the uh, chemistry achievement test. So if, if you have a look here, so we can see most of the question have improvement in post test. There is only a three question we get slightly negative result. The one, three. No, one, two, and uh, question number, this one is number eight. So this is a uh, need to, for us to investigate for further information. Well, if we compare uh, between the treatment group and the control group, 
we can have a look. Most of the questions, they have improvement. But some of the questions in treatment group, uh, in treatment group, uh, it have more improvement compared to the control group. And also the same, some questions for control group have more improvement compared to the treatment group. And some questions, they have a negative result. So if we compare a uh, general about uh, treatment and control group, we found that so for the pretest, so they have a slightly little bit different at the beginning, okay, and then both uh, group actually show an uh, improvement in the post test. So the number of treatment group uh, for our pilot study is 39 and control is 40. So here is uh, one of the question in our chemistry achievement test. So it's under the category chemistry formula and equation. So we can, we can have a look, this is for the treatment group. So the answer is A. So the treatment group has slightly better result, better improvement control, compared to the co uh, control group at the end. And then the number of the students uh, choose the wrong answer, B, C, D, E, has slightly decreased for the treatment group, but for the control group, the, P, uh, the student they answer the question D is slightly improved. So this is something that we would like to investigate further. To summarize my presentation today, the research problem that we are addressing is about limited effectiveness of teaching method in the UAE, especially the lack of motivation and also the negative uh, attitude among the students in learning chemistry. We introduce educational computer game-based learning as a way to improve the student motivation and student learning attitude. In doing so, we wish to provide an alternative way to improve the science pedagogical practices. From the research point of view, we think that originality of our study is that it is applied to a diverse Middle Eastern audience for whom English is a second language. So if the study is successful, this will provide a strong evidence of, of the method efficiency and the widespread applicability. Because our approach combine conv conv conventional lecture with the science game-based problem solving, so we hope to increase the motivation without losing any benefit of proven method of teaching scientific subject. Finally, I would like to, or we would like to acknowledge the support from the Khalifa University Office of Research Support, especially for Ms. Maria Hassan, Professor Burton, and Professor Burnell. And I also would like, we would like to thank to all the chemistry faculty for their assistance in data collation. And finally, we really thanks for all the participating students, especially in fall 2012 and spring 2013, who enrolled in Chemistry 115 classes. Uh, thank you very much, and I welcome any questions.